Hello. I'm going to show you my awesome new cup. Can you see that? Look at this. Sustained. It's backwards, but from Western Michigan. Yay. So I got this new coffee cup, and every time I buy coffee at school, I get like 15% off a cup, which isn't a lot of money, but the fact that I buy a coffee every single day, it'll add up. So yay. What? Like every seven cups? It's kind of free or something. Is that the math? I don't know. So today is foggy, so there's a delay for school for both of the little ones, which is slightly inconvenient because I was planned on having three hours of study time, and instead I think I'm gonna have like an hour and a half because I'm staying home, of course, until they're both on their way to school. But that's okay. So it's life. It's good. finished constitutional law class I like it I like it a lot but it's also really challenging so I'm excited I like the teacher he's got a uh, theatrical personality but um, like the class challenges me so I I definitely appreciate that I want to talk about what's on my mind is that the uh, um, idea of friendships and there's, there's some little saying about people come to your life for a season or a reason or whatever. Um, in plain language, like like some people are just meant for a moment or maybe a short period of time or maybe a longer period of time or a lifetime. Like it's, it's different, different whether it's meant to be or what, like just how you fit. And so it's great and I, I can appreciate what I, I get from the people and I think in general we can appreciate the good that comes during a relationship but when it is like just for a season a moment a period of time and you realize um, that it's not really a long-term friendship or it's not like for whatever reason you just don't fit as friends not a judgment call you just don't fit um, I think we frequently In like figuring out how to navigate that kind of separation of the friendship, we often don't make good choices. So I'm I'm in a space where there's someone that I genuinely like. I just realize like we're not we're not gonna stay friends. Like it's just not a fit of friendship. And but we still will interact with one another. And I'm debating: do I just directly say like, hey, we're not a fit, and that's cool, 
not a judgment. We're just not a thing. And so we don't need to pretend we are. Doesn't mean either one of us are good or bad or anything like that. We just don't fit. So do I directly like make that statement? Or do I remain kind of like, just, I've just been passive, like where I don't say anything at all. And like, let there be this kind of pretendedness that there's still a friendship there when we probably both are aware of it, but we just haven't directly, verbally acknowledged it. Is there a need to directly acknowledge it? I don't know. Like, what are, what are your thoughts? How, how have you navigated um, a friendship when, when it's no longer just a fit in your life? Not even like a partner, a life partner, but a friendship. Comment down below. Let me know what you think, um, what, you, what you do, mistakes you've made, lessons you may have learned from mistakes. Like, what are your thoughts? Let me know. So, I am prone to liking to, like, be productive. Like, I'm doing homework, I'm working, I'm working out. Like, I'm always with the kids. Like, like my time is spent being pretty active. And I'm not as good at, like, just doing nothing or having downtime. And sometimes, even when I have downtime, I feel guilty. So, my afternoon class was canceled. And I brought my gym bag to go to the gym. And I have all my homework so I could sit and study even if I chose not to go to the gym. So there's all this, like, I can do this or this or this. My uh, throat's a tiny bit sore. And so instead I went home and I slept for like three hours. But then I wake up and I think about all the things I did not get done in those three hours I slept. But it, really I know that it just as important as it is to be productive, it's also important to, to take care of our bodies and let our body and mind rest. So, Connie, it is okay that you slept. No, I'm just kidding. Of course it's okay. So that's it. Now I'm, I'm up and I'm going to do a little bit of homework.